G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio with me G So in the previous episode I did mention that I wanted to have a rocket up and launch before episode 30 or by episode 30 So that's today's project to try and get the rocket silo re researched at the same time, um, create rocket parts. So I to launch a rocket, you're going to need to have 100... No, you're going to need to have, yes, 100 rocket parts being made um, to complete your rocket, which requires 10 low-density structures, 10 rocket control units, and 10 rocket fuel, which means I need a 1,000 of each one of those up and ready. And that's what today's episode's all going to be all about. We're going to be making some rocket parts. So hopefully we can get a rocket solo up and done. But first, the intro. So with that out of the way, the very first thing I want to do is I want to work on rocket fuel. Uh, main reason I want to work on rocket fuel is one, it's right here. Two, we have a good amount of oil. So we might as well, whilst we can, uh, try and get some rocket fuel up and running. We're actually going to, can I copy that? No, I can't copy that. Okay, fine. We're going to put down an assembler. We're going to set the recipe to rocket fuel and copy and paste a few times yeah about there looks good uh, turn my robots back on bring down our fluid pipe uh oh robot port. turns out they need power uh got power got power okay uh hook in our pipe because rocket fuel requires two things it requires solid fuel uh, and it also requires a light oil. So we're going to split off our solid fuel right there, wrap it down and around, bring in inserter, 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 output there, there, and there, which then means we can do power pole, power pole, have you guys run the fluid that way. And copy, paste, 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 and I guess one more paste. Cool, that'll do us. Uh, trim that belt, trim that belt, trim that one pipe. And that's our rocket fuel setup. Now, the only thing I want to do is I want to store this. Uh, nope, these inserters will do. Into three chests. Three chests should be heaps. Uh, and we should be good to go. So that's our rocket fuel done. Next item we're going to need in our crafting menu is the low-density structures. Low-density structures we're already making as part of our high-tech sites, okay? Um, or the yellow sites, utility sites. Sorry, it's been renamed a few times. So, yeah. Uh, that pipe has no liquid in it, which probably means I didn't remove... I didn't remove a pipe when we upgraded our oil. Okay. Low-density structures, uh, which I conveniently have a whole heap on a belt. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to give this a little bit of room to move. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, no, that's blue ones in. Okay, there we go. Uh, like so, power pole in there. We're going to copy, uh, copy that. And is that bad? Yeah, we didn't like that gun. Okay. Paste those there. Extend the great laser wall out a little bit further. Uh, speaking of laser walls and friends, the evolution is up to 0 0.88. 0 0.9 is when things start getting bad. Uh, so I'm going to uncap these. And the idea is any low density structures that aren't used by science can just scroll along and come and sit in these chests and you know store up for later. I'd like to extend the build, but I can't because it already uses a whole belt of copper. Um, one thing I can do is I could... Actually, we might do that. So these guys currently have a crafting speed of 0.75. If I upgrade them to the next, next tier of assembler... Any time now... Come on, robots. There we go. There's the flight. The flight of our champions. Okay. And I fill it full of productivity modules. It slows down to 0.5. If I go with three productivity ones and a speed one, 
which means we're going to go find a speed one, which we're storing do, 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 over here. Yoink, yoink. Run along that path because we can. And I put a single speed one in there. 0.9. It's a little bit faster than what I'd like. That's 0.68. That's 0.5. We could just run it at 0.5 speed. No, because I want a little bit of extra bonus out of it. So I probably want that combination. It means it's not going to... Copper's not going to quite get to the end. Or we could just add extra machines. Hang on. Which side is that? That stuff's on that side. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to add extra machines and I'm just going to run it slowly. That's what we're going to do. Uh, where are those things? That's what I want. So we're going to just run extra machines. We're going to run them slowly. Uh, we're going to upgrade this side as well. Okay, I didn't really need to upgrade those belts, but, you know, thanks, bolts. Uh, also, why do I have a tier 1 assembler? Ever. Y you'd be amazed at the random crap that you find in your inventory. Okay. Upgrade that side. Which means the whole build's now running slower. Which means, no matter what, I should end up with extra copper on the belts. Which means, I'm now going to copy... Never the end one, always one in the middle. Uh, I'm going to copy that down. And we're going to put in a red underground. There to there. Red underground there to there. And... Yellow belt. That line into there. That line into there. No, try again. And a power pole. And these are just going to run off the excess. I don't know how many machines I can actually run. Because that would require me to do the maths. And I don't think it's that many machines. I think I can only run about this many here. Um, we could obviously hang around and... Okay, first thing we can do is we make sure we definitely have a whole belt of copper coming in. Yes. And then we can hang around and see to what machine is actually working. Okay, the first machine we see that's dead, that doesn't actually make anything. No, th that, that's going to tell us we've definitely got too many machines. So, I'm going to build this too long to start with. And then we're going to come back and check in a, in a little bit. And we're going to see, look for the products finished. And basically, anyone with a really, really low amount of products finished, we're just going to remove with the decon planner. So, that's that upgraded. The last thing we need to do is we need to make our lovely, oops, rocket control units. Rocket control units require speed modules. They also take 30 seconds to craft. Uh, speed modules uh, require red and green circuits. And they take 15 seconds to craft. So, we're going to start off with some speed modules first. Um... In, 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 out, out, out. Uh, that there, that there. All those belts, all those belts. Uh, do I want to do, do I want to combine red and green up here or do I want to combine them down here? Let's combine them up here. Okay, so we're going to want to drag this along. then thanks uh we're gonna start on the spidertron research next because why not uh we need to extend that along so i'd have to put red circuits on obviously this side and green circuits on that side which is going to be a pain so you know what we're going to do we're going to split things off and then i'm going to run them down and i'm going to join them in about there and then green circuits, we're going to copy, uh, paste, run that down, and join it in about there. Cool. 
Uh, you can go. Hang on. You can go and put those in. That goes there. And then you can put in your undergrounds. And that pops out there. You guys go to there. We'll extend the bus up to about there. We'll leave that as is. You guys are going to make speed module ones. And I'm thinking... 12 machines? 9, 12? Yeah, 12 machines seems like a good number. Okay, and then we're going to do our rocket control units. So, rocket control units take twice as long to craft, which means if I have 12 at this site, I should have 24 of the other. Instead, I think I'm going to build about 20. No, we're going to use numbers of three because inserters just work better in powers of three. Uh, due to the medium power pot. So, we're going to have... Uh, I don't know. 18? 18? Yeah, 18. Three, six, nine, 12... 15, 18, and straight away that belt should go up, not down, and at the same time, that's too much belt. Okay, so that gets us our speed modules, which we want to tap into uh, that side of the belt, which we're going to do like that, because I do want to split half of them off. And put them to something else that's going to be useful. Uh, the rest of the... Oh, the other thing we're going to need is our blue circuits. Which are right there. Plug A to B. Uh, underground. 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 Cool. Done. Alright. So it gets our blue circuits running. Which are going to come down here. Uh, well, we're just going to dump all our excess material into the very first machine. So, you're going to give me 50%. The other thing I want to do is I want to have an overflow overflow. Because speed modules are useful. We're going to end up using them in a lot of things. In fact, I've set some stuff up between, between episodes that can and has used a whole bunch of speed modules. So, we're going to have... This is going to be 50% of the excess, okay? So, 50% of the speed modules we're going to put into a pretty little chest right here. Here. Yes. Uh, with an inserter. And that one we're going to cap to 50. And the idea is we can have 50 speed modules available and ready to go at all times. Uh, which needs power and obviously... We also need to put a RoboPort. Of course you won't fit. RoboPort. Right there. Okay, so we're going to have 50% of our speed modules are going to get put into this chest if I had some blue inserters which are on their way, I hope. On their way, 50. Yes, okay. So, that's the first thing I'm going to do. The second thing I'm going to do, and this is why we have our priority on here, is I'm going to put a second fast inserter right there. So if this backs up, i.e. we have enough rocket control units, we're good for the moment, we're going to have all the speed modules that don't get used by this system, i.e. the belt backs up, come into this chest, which I'm not going to cap. Because speed modules are handy. Speed modules are very, very handy. We can put them to marvelous useful things. Uh, which also means I need three of these chests because each chest holds 480 and if I have three of them that is over a thousand parts to make a rocket. So I just need to have a thousand of these plus I need to have a thousand of these plus I need to have a thousand of these. And then we can launch a rocket. And the research done. Research is done. Okay. So that should be our rocket components. Uh, as you can see this is terribly slow. You are running? You are running. Yeah, they're all running. They're all starting up. I'm going to take those, put them in there so that chest is full. And we're just going to give you the spares so you can output them on the belts. Yeah, it's a way cleaner way of doing it. And the only thing we can do now is sort of look to see whether we can yell at the base and make it go faster. So obviously we're short on blue circuits. 
We're short on blue circuits because not enough green circuits. Not enough green circuits is caused by... Not enough green circuits. Okay, so I want to do two things. I want to go and improve that. Actually, that's what we're going to do. So, we... <sighs> green circuits. Have a ratio of a one iron plate to three copper cable. Our copper cable machines are making one copper cable every half a second. No, they, they're making two copper cable every half a second. So first thing I want to do is obviously I want to upgrade these machines to the next tier. And actually we might even request some of those straight in my inventory. Uh, so I have them on site. Handy, handy, handy. I'm going to want a bunch of those. And I'm going to want a bunch of those. Okay. So we're going to upgrade them to the next tier of assembly. The main reason I've done that is it lets us put more productivity modules in them. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to top these guys up with productivity modules. So once they've been topped up with productivity modules, remember that extra 4% we're making per module. Okay. So that means this guy is making extra 16% copper cable. This guy doesn't actually need 16% extra copper cable. Okay. So we're now in a positive state here. Uh, we're in such a positive state that this guy has cable in it, this guy has cable in it, and as you can see, well, especially with the middle guy, he's occasionally sitting around with cable in there that it can't output because it has no room for it to output because both these guys' needs have been met by their own individual machines. So, right, like, right now. So, what I want to do is I want to remove this guy entirely, okay? It's going to lead to some problems. Uh, the first one, it seems, being power. And then I want to replace it with a beacon. And in that beacon, we're going to throw in those speed modules, which is going to speed everything up. Everything's going to go a little bit faster. So we're back up to the 0.75 crafting speed that we were originally on these, these blue machines before I put productivity modules in there. At the same time, we also have 16% extra productivity. And we can now see we're just a little bit short of copper cable, and on top of that, occasionally our output and so does not output it fast enough. So we're going to upgrade our inputs and our outputs. And then we're going to have a look at our machine go. Occasionally you're short on copper cable. Do you have excess copper cable? No. No, you don't have excess copper cable. But things are running a little bit smoother. Okay. Uh, it's not quite perfect. Obviously, if we had better productivity modules in there, we might close that gap so that machine runs more full-time, uh, is probably what I'm trying to say. But this is a pretty good combination, okay? We're using less resources in, we're producing more out at the cost of power. Um, if we remember, our power is pretty good. In fact, our power is so good, I'm actually going to stop burning raw resources. Uh, let's just disconnect those four belts yes i'm going to stop burning coal i'm going to shut down these three power plants uh, they'll burn off whatever coals on the belt because i'm pretty sure that our one little nuclear reactor can take up that slack and if not we can always fire up the second reactor because at the moment we're burning this coal and if i don't need to burn a whole bunch of coal and i could just burn a little bit of nuclear fuel which, by the way, if we remember down here, I still have 200 sitting in a box. There is a fair amount of nuclear fuel down there, and the covert system is going great. It's going so great that I actually need to... Uh, yeah, put down a box to grab the excess, because I didn't do that when we did that video, because I didn't think it would uh, back up quite this quickly. But lo and behold, um, yeah, this belt is stopped. Well, it's not stopped. It's, it still runs every single time a machine kicks in. Um, but yeah, that, that inserter and box need to be there so we can box up all the excess. Anyway, back to our green circuit problem. So what I want to do is I basically want to do this upgrade. No, I don't want to do this upgrade. I want to do this upgrade. Oh, there and there. And there it seems. We good now? Nope. Okay, completely rearrange the power poles. Uh, 
which is going to provide... So this beacon is going to provide more speed to this assembly machine and this assembly machine. So we're now at a crafting speed of 1. one. Okay, so we're going even faster. At the same time, we're still a little bit short on copper cable, but not as short. And you're going absolutely flat out. Yeah, absolutely flat out. So what I want to do is this combination right here that I've got here, I want to duplicate this down the build. So we're going to trim out everything in that area and put that in its place then trim out everything in this area and put it in its place and that one and so on and so forth down the line at least until I run out of either modules or beacons uh, might have run out. It looks like I've run out of speed modules. Pop, pop, pop. I told you these guys are going to be really useful. Uh, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to put that in its place. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to put that in its place. So on and so forth. Down the rabbit hole we go. Ah. Are you a bad thing or a. You just ate a robot. Please don't eat a robot. Uh, okay, that obviously needs to move. Okay. And then the last one on the list. Okay. So this has also changed another dynamic. Because the machines are now running faster, they're going to consume copper faster. They're going to output green circuits faster, but they're also going to consume copper faster, which means that needs to go to red. That needs to go to red. That's got to go to red. All of that needs to go to red belt. And then with twice the amount of copper running down the belt, we should have half as many problems. Yeah, we'll give it a second to speed up. Uh, so we've definitely got enough copper. Obviously, the second half also needs the same treatment. So again, we'll just swipe that from here. Cool down. Um, okay, and then we'll stand here at our join line. So this is yellow belt, this is red belt. And then we'll just click bloop, this to go back to four times speed for a second. And see if we can see any noticeable output difference. I don't think I can notice a difference. It, it may be a little bit more full. Yeah, so he's already finished 1670 products each. Oh, the iron line died. Of course. Of course, of course, of course, the horse. Uh, that. 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 I think we're well and truly past the point of needing an iron booster. Uh, there is some iron occasionally getting down here. Uh, again, we'll go back to that join line. That's definitely looking more full than it was was a couple of minutes ago. So, with one side of our green circuits done, obviously I want to do the other side. And this time I'm just going to be a little bit more savage. And we're just going to slice from there to there. And rip up just about everything. Almost everything. Uh... And then copy that in its entirety. Oh, I missed these inserters. Okay. Second attempt. Uh, yep, there to there. Uh, I want you positioned there. Friend would be right beside you with that belt in there. Now, if I copy and paste this correctly, I should be able to just walk to the next one. Paste, 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 so on and so forth. Oops. Oh, there's a splitter in the way. Okay. Uh, paste this down 
all the way down. There's a power pole in the way. All the way down the build. Uh, you also go away, and we can put one of those there instead. And you should be fully upgraded. And the only thing I need to do is upgrade the iron belt and the copper belts. Um, and the copper belts from there all the way up through this splitter around the rover port through to there uh, that has to go up that, 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 and that and you somehow didn't get power okay now we can look at our join line and we're almost very, very close. Like, not perfect, but almost at three full yellow belts at this point. Obviously, if I upgraded the modules, and I had to tier two modules, tier three modules, we could definitely get more green circuits out of this monstrosity of a build. Um, also, if I had iron flowing down both sides. Um, obviously, also, if I added a boost to iron lane in... Products finished 82. Products finished 400. Uh, about here somewhere, we'd be doing a lot better. At the same time, our power just hit a brick wall. So we need to copy these reactors, put them on top of the whoop, on top of those reactors, which will add those inserters, and then we'll kick in our next nuclear reactor plant. Yeah, a booster line of iron would definitely help. Uh, there's four inserters flying off into the wilderness. And literally need them to go down system kicks in we start adding more heat because we've added more fuel temperature of all the pipes goes up and our power problem is going to go away pretty much instantly uh, which means uh, that's been disconnected next one i want to do is that one yeah we, we might as well save the coal if we've got the coal okay so with out of the way that's that upgraded uh, I'd love to, at the same time, probably do the gears. I'm obviously not going to add productivity. Uh, I'm not going to add speed beacons to these guys just yet. We're just going to go with all productivity. Have more machines and more productivity rather than less machines. Uh, less machines running faster. Yeah, that's how I want to put it. Uh, but we're using two lanes of iron there. Potentially two lanes of iron there. Uh, iron, copper, two, copper, 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 copper. Two lanes of copper, two lanes of copper. Another little bit of copper for our military. Another potential lane of copper here for re this red circuits. Uh, definitely a whole lane of copper right here for our low density structures, which we just walked down the build. Uh, where's finished? 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 26. Now they're all running. They're all running. I can't argue with that. If they're running, I'm not going to change them. Um, what else? Uh, copper also goes into this red circuit build, uh, which looks like it just ran out of two lanes worth of copper, and we're now down to a single lane. So that's going to put a strain on our uh, red circuit build. So next thing I want to do is I want to upgrade definitely our blue circuits because they're now short because we've put them to use. So upgrade these guys to the next tier of assembler. So again, I can fill them full of productivity modules, which will make our green circuit belt run just a little bit further down this build. Where are, am I out of, I think I'm out of those assemblers. Damn. Yeah, let me through all this junk. There's one flying across. Oh, we're doing a military research, are we? Uh, I didn't buffer nearly enough science for that. Um, no, it's over here. Okay. I'm going to take you, you, and you. And we're going to manually throw them into this machine. Uh, same time, what can I get rid of? 
obviously lots of assembly machine twos, uh, a whole bunch of inserters, some power poles, some splitters, some um, green circuits, some red circuits, some blue circuits, more green circuits, more copper, more iron. Uh, that's the inventory a little bit better. Where are we? Throw those in that machine again. Okay, according this, we need 39 more assemblers. And then with that upgrade, what are you guys doing? You've got 654, 300. You have 50 speed modules. The system obviously hasn't backed up because it has no green circuits left. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, we're super short on speed modules. Super short. 39 still to go. Each one of you guys uses four. So there was enough in there in the last time to do about 10. Oh, I've got 50 more inventory. That's going to make all the difference. We're just going to stop past here on the way and clean out that chest a second time. So, green circuits, we're making it to this point, where the rover port is. If I upgrade the machines, it's going to make it less distance now, because the machines are going faster. But if I upgrade the machines and add productivity to slow them down, but get more free items out at the cost of power... Oh, I missed that one. We should see an overall increase in the amount of productivity modules we're getting out of the system. Uh, they can go back, in fact, that one, uh, that one, and that one. With that one, you go back. That's a whole bunch of copper wire, which we're going to put into uh, not red circuits, because that's back to the wazoo up. So we're going to go put it into green circuits. Okay, with that out of the way, uh, what's their status? So we have 355 rocket control units. We have 480, 480, 172. We actually have enough low density structures to probably launch a rocket at this stage. At the same time, our rocket fuel is at 480, 331. It's getting close too. So we're down to waiting on just one item. Well, one item plus the rocket silo. So, with all that said, I think this is where I'm gonna leave this today's episode. Um, our goal was to start prepping for the rocket launch. Uh, and I would honestly say we're, we're prepping. We may not be prepped yet, but we're definitely prepping still. Uh, top of that concrete, plus there, plus there. That's how wide my path was. Uh, copper's obviously a shortfall. I did, between episodes, hook up a train that is bringing over copper. It's just not doing a great job of it because we're out already. So let's go... Let's go talk about some trains. So, I hooked up a copper train, which is already... So, there's this gap on the belt. That gap on the belt implies that there's not enough... Uh, the trains are too slow. Uh, one, two... Thanks. Uh, three... Fuel... Clicky, clicky. No, I don't have any fuel. Okay, I need to go to... You... Really? Thank you. I need to be able to see the train. Yep, that copied those orders. Paste them on there. Copy and paste them on there. Grab some rocket fuel out of the local chest. Put it in the fuel wagon. And we copy on the orders. So we want to go to copy copper unload. And actually we might ride on the train for this. So it's going to go to copper unload. It's going to in theory fill up with copper. It's then going to come over here to copper load. And if the other train is in the station, it'll park right here. It'll park behind the station, ready to go. As for these guys, those boxes are very full. 
So it's a train throughput problem. So we're going to add a second train to the system. And then we should be able to get more copper out of the system. And should be able to run these two furnaces at full speed. In saying that, I did disconnect two bat belts from here. Um, so we could push the rest of the copper on the other belts. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of all of that. All of that and that and that one and come on. All that one. Uh, train's gonna come back. How much is in there? Not a lot. Not a lot. But we arrived before the the, the chest went empty. So that means we have full throughput in the trains. Everything is running fine. You're going to maintain full lot of copper. We're getting rid of the two old belts that we had. Uh, so that should mean we've got four full belts. Close-ish enough to four full belts of copper coming out, which we're feeding in everything. And consequently, there's no copper left by the time we get out to the edge of the base. But because we had a prod mods in here, we can see our green circuits are definitely getting past there. We have products finished zero, products finished one. So maybe it's only getting down to this point. Um, we'll have to come back and check. Speaking, come back and checking. Uh, nope, our copper belt went dry. So we have products finished 41, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 35, 34, and 30. I would hazard a guess that it's not making to the last two. The coppers also maybe not make it to last four, but that's really hard to make a decision on when you don't have full belts of copper coming in to start with. Yes, yes. Anyway, with all that said, this is where I'm going to leave today's episode. We upgraded green circuits. We upgraded our gears. We upgraded our blue circuits. We upgraded... Um, well, we built rocket fuel, which is mostly done. We built, oh, well, we started storing up our bonus low density structures, which are mostly full. We also built a rocket control unit build, which is half done. So like in our list of things that we wanted to accomplish today, we're about halfway, about halfway. Anyway, with all that said, this is where I'm going to leave today's episode. Uh, we're most of the way on our Spidertron, so maybe we'll play with a Spidertron next episode. On top of that, we can always do an artillery. Uh, we do have the rocket silo, so I think next episode, definitely going to want to build a... Where the hell's the rocket silo? Mm. It's one I can never find, because you only build them, like, once twice there it is under military that's right uh okay uh open that back up uh military it's down here beside radar so we need a thousand steel not too hard 200 blue circuits not that too hard 200 electric units should be okay a thousand concrete we've been paving the world for a little while now so a thousand concrete shouldn't be too hard a hundred pipe already have a hundred pipe my inventory so we're set and ready to go anyway like i said with all that said this is where i'm going to end today's episode thank you guys so much for watching do hope you're enjoying the series as always if you found the video helpful learned something along the way by all means click the like button at the same time click subscribe to the channel because we're doing a whole bunch of things including finishing off uh, this series probably in the next within the next week i'm pretty sure within the next week we're getting rocket launched off along with uh ticking the last few boxes on like spider trons artillery all that sort of stuff on top of all that um we're gonna be starting another well returning a new series watch the channel there's lots of things happening at the same time you got any questions got any queries got anything you're not 100 sure of come join us on discord on discord we have lots of many 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 answers well lots of lots of talented engineers that are happy to answer your questions i'm happy to answer some queries because i've had some queries about like things i didn't fully cover in the videos but i sort of half covered like the uh, question came up just the other day about uh nuclear and ups and all those sorts of questions so uh some interesting and very well formed questions pop up on my discord so i recommend you join that at the same time anyway with all that said this is where i'm leaving it thank you guys so much for watching do hope you enjoy i'll see you guys tomorrow right, bye